The selected districts were the high-risk districts in the Greater Accra, Ashanti, and Central regions that began the vaccination exercise during the peak of the pandemic. Currently, about 21 million doses of vaccine have been administered across the country. But data on the actual number of persons who have vaccinated is believed to be inaccurate. Per standard practice and quality measure for vaccination, a national survey is required to validate the administrative data. The surveyors were taken through training on how to use tools to get accurate data. There are steps that we are told to follow and so um, I'm doing my best to do exactly what we are told and we're hoping that as I come into the communities they will be receptive and then they would answer our questions and um, we'll get the best results so that we can make better decisions on healthcare delivery. We have a, a set of questionnaire we are going to administer and uh, we are to speak clearly and slowly and elicit the appropriate response from the respondents so that we record very quality data for decision making. Programs manager for the expanded program on immunization, Dr. Kwame Amponsa Achianu, is entreating residents in the said districts to be receptive. When we do vaccination, we take data administratively. But normal administrative data is fraught with a lot of challenges. The numerator may not be correct, the denominator, in other words, the population base may not also be accurate. And so normally we do, as part of uh, standard practice, we do what we call coverage service. And it's for every campaign, every vaccination that we do. So what we intend to do is to get accurate data in terms of proportions that are actually vaccinated. We've made a lot of vaccines available to these 43 districts. So it's about time we, we did this survey to validate the administrative data. We are doing this over a seven-day period. The exercise is costing government and development partners $15,000.